Hey guys, it's time for the shopping block number 10. Can you believe it? we're at number 10? We are. This is gonna be the haul. I'm gonna show you all the products. These are products that are new to me, uh, new to the market. A lot of the recent CoverGirl new products are in here. A lot of you requested they be reviewed. So I just gotta mix the products together that I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna put the prices in the corner of everything and swatch. So uh, I'll get back to you in a couple weeks and let you know how everything worked out for me. It's as simple as that. All right, first up, we've got something from NARS. Now this came out a while ago. I love the case. And this came out, look, you just, it's got a little thing on the back. This is gonna be great for the purse. Um, this is uh, their, not, their uh, translucent crystal, yay, uh, light reflect, reflecting setting powder. And it's the pressed version. It comes in a loose version as well. So very, very pretty, not a, not a cheap product. No, no NARS is cheap, uh, but this is what it looks like in the pan. Ooh, what happened there? It's an overcast day. I just chased somebody down the street. Uh, the back gate was open, didn't know it. And who was moseying all down the street but my assistant. Uh, anyway, we are gonna test this out and I'm gonna put my finger on it. And a lot of people, a lot of people warned me about the overcoat. So that's what, when I just rub my finger, yeah, you can see. Oh, wow, it looks, I don't know if that's gonna show up in the camera, but you see how, sh yeah, you can see a difference after I rub it. Anyway, let me know what your, since this has been, has been out a while, let me know if you have any experience with this product. As usual, I'll review it, but, uh, you know, in the next video uh, for this stuff, but let me know what your experience was with it. It's uh, translucent. I'm going to be interested to see um, if it is a good fit for my deeper skin tone. Doesn't look ashy on me. Oh, there's a little, that's in there. That's cool. Um, so I can use that as well. Very cool. Didn't even know that was in there. I love that it comes in a little... That's nice. All right, next up, Dior. Dior, Dior. New blushes from them. These, I love their packaging. This is the Dior Blush uh, Vibrant Color Powder Blush. This is Lady Red. So let's take a look at Lady Red. Oh, they just do such a good job with, ooh, with packaging. I, I do a good job with dropping things. Uh, so that's the close up. Thought this was a really pretty color. I wasn't attracted to as many of the colors I thought as I thought I would be in the display. I picked this up at Nordstrom. That's a swatch of it. So I think it looks pretty pretty. It's a quick swatch. <laughs> One end is a little better in the swatch than the other. Um, you get the little brush. I usually don't use it, but this might be soft enough to use. So yeah, I will be checking that out. I never keep these little dust things, but I'll keep it for now. I'll keep it for now. Uh, this, I'm doing all the expensive stuff first, aren't I? This is the Armani um, Rouge Ecstasy uh, lip color. Now these came out and I was really excited about these. They're in a red tube. This is Scarlata, Scarlato number 502. There are a ton of colors, oh my gosh. So this is what Scarlato looks like. Really pretty, right? And I'll swatch it next to that blush. This is gonna be, I'll have to wear these together. Very pretty. So that's what Scarlato looks like on my hand. Really pretty, right? I'm going to see how many times I can say that. <laughs> really pretty, right? Okay, CoverGirl. This is not new. A lot of you told me when I, I showed this in the new products from CoverGirl haul. It's not new. It's my first time trying it, though, and a lot of people did ask me. Ooh, you shake it up and the, there's a ball inside. Can hear it. It's like a nail polish. It sounds like a nail polish when you shake it. Um, but yeah, this is number 800. I feel like it was pitch black. The color isn't on here, but if I remember correctly, it's pitch black. Number, yeah, I said 800. So yeah, let me show you the tip of this liner. I like a nice pointed precision tip, so this could be good. I will go ahead and swatch it next to the lipstick. Kind of easy to use. I like it. Very, very nice color payoff. I like a deep black liner if you're if the liner is black it better show up black not gray not green not blue uh <laughs> i want it to be pitch black um this was sent to me for review this is m by michelle fawn uh fawn yeah and uh this is one of their arched long wear brow liners and this is the color brunette now it has a spoolie on one end let me take that off there's a spoolie on one end which is really cool and then on the other end, we'll take a look at the color. The color, okay, it twists up. 
and that's what it looks like in the tube. I'll go ahead and swatch it, of course, but I just want you to see that it is a twist up. And I'll draw a line next to it. It doesn't show up very much, which is probably a good thing because, you know, it only has to be a little bit deeper. I never want a black brow liner, right? Uh, so, yeah, there it is on my hand, and I just did it pretty lightly. But I like a product like this. We'll see if it's the right consistency. I tend to favor something that is in between pencil and wax. I don't want something that's so hard and waxy, but I do like something that, you know, will hold up. So we'll see if that is the product. This is uh, Lancome's Gloss in Love in number 391. I feel like it's Flash and Fuchsia. I'm not sure if I remember that correctly. It's 391. I'm trying to remember the box because... The name of the color isn't on here, but the number is. Uh, this is really cute. I thought this is neat at the counter. You push this little button. Let me see if I can show you the button. You push this little button and the gloss pops up. I mean the wand pops up. And then, and then, uh, I'll go ahead and swatch it for you. It's got kind of a different applicator. Let me show you that as well. The applicator is interesting. It kind of, I guess it'll cup your lips. <laughs> or I guess if you're putting it on that way, that's just perfect for uh, gliding it on your lips. Anything that says fuchsia is a good hit. <laughs> There's a good chance I'll like it, right? So nice color, very pretty. I'll see if it's too sticky, if it uh, lasts and everything like that. I'll let you know that. Now when you put it back, you just go like that and it clicks. Really cute. That's They get the award for most interesting lip, lip gloss delivery system, I think. This is the CoverGirl Bombshell Volume Mascara. It is really, you could hurt someone. This reminds me of the wand, you know, when you watch the Olympics. Um, the races, what are they called? Relay races. Yeah, you could use this as the relay race wand. Um, there are two sides to it. Number one and number two. Now, number one, oh gosh, is the, oh gosh. I, I save the packages for these so I can, you know, look at them. Because when you're reviewing, if they say that it does something that I found it did not do, I can only find that out by reading the package. They don't have all that information on the product. But this is number one, the one side. And I think this is volume side, I'm not sure. Um, there it is. That's the wand on the number one side. Now this looks just like, you know, they say bombshell by, it says by Lash Blast. So that wand looks very, very familiar to me because it does look like a Lash Blast wand. Uh, the second side, I thought this was like intensity or something like that. Uh, yeah, this is the second wand on the other side. Can't wait to use this. I want to see if it's better than the uh, Maybelline. The Maybelline one, though, um, has one side that's for your top lashes and one side for your bottom lashes. But I don't know, just because there are two sides, I... I don't know why. I, I probably shouldn't compare them. I probably shouldn't compare them. All right, this I'm excited to try. Uh, this is by Sephora. It's the Formula X uh, nail polish, and the color is Hubba Hubble. Hubba Hubble. Now, there are a ton of these colors. Um, I will try this one first, but I definitely plan to get like a cream color. Um, they just have a couple different consistencies that I want to try. So you might see these in the future, uh, different, con you know, different textures in the future. But yeah, that just looks gorgeous. All right, these are by CoverGirl as well. There are a lot of new CoverGirl products. If you didn't check that video, check it out. I have a haul on all the new, or a lot of the new CoverGirl products. You're gonna see some more after these. These are the Bombshell Shine Shadows from CoverGirl. This is Platinum Club, which is kind of a purpley color. And this is Color Me Money. This is kind of a green. Now, Platinum Club is the one I'll swatch first. It's number 310. And these are really interesting. I saw from, you know, doing that haul, these are very interesting as far as they're very, very creamy, and they, they really go on nice and smooth. So again, that's that first one. Um, I already forgot the name. Uh, Platinum something, right? <laughs> Platinum Club. Platinum Club. There you go. You can see it better that way. Platinum Club. And I'll do Color Me Money next. It, it just it looks silvery purple. I think it's really pretty. I can't wait to see what it does in the eye. I hope it looks like different colors on the eye. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes you'll put something all over your lid and in the crease it looks a little bit darker. That's what I'm hoping for. Now I spread the Color Me Money out a little more. This is number, what is it, 305 Color Me Money and that's right on top. So really, yes, yeah, see next to that it looks more purple. Before that, it kind of looks silver, at least in the viewfinder, which, you know, things look different in the viewfinder. And it's an overcast day, so who knows how this will turn out. <laughs> All right, uh, I also have gotten a lot of requests to review the uh, Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara. 
and uh, I'm just wiping my hand on my, my pants. And this is the color black. It's in a nice silver tube, very, very cold silver tube. And I'll show you what the wand on the mascara looks like. So this is your traditional brush wand, unlike Lash Blast, which is like kind of like that rubbery wand. So we'll see how those do against each other uh, for this chopping block. Um, next, this is a, something that I got a request to review. Uh, I started getting a request to review this months ago, and I'm just getting around to it. This is the Stila Stay All Day Foundation and Concealer. Um, I got the color Deep. I kind of um, got matched at Ulta, or I matched myself, you know. That's why I love Ulta. You can really just try things on your cheeks. I never wear makeup when I go to Ulta. I wear a little a little mascara and that kind of a thing, but in lip products, because I wouldn't try those on my lips. Lips. But yeah, on my face, I don't wear any makeup. Uh, anyway, this is cool because right in the top, you've got concealer. So let me show you that up close. This is going to be great for travel. And I will show you what that looks like. That's what that looks like. That's what that looks like. The concealer is right there on my hand. And what I'm going to do is go for it and uh, do the, uh, <laughs> do the uh, foundation right next to it. Now, this is an interesting little delivery here because, okay, you pop the top off with the concealer in it. And then you, you twist this off and you've got a spatula. Yes, girl, a spatula. Look at that. You've got a spatula for this foundation, which is kind of like a joke, right? Because you don't you say people put someone put on their makeup like they put it on with a spatula? Yeah. Now, literally, you can be that girl. Uh, so, yeah, that's the foundation. I'll rub it in while I, after it focuses here so you can kind of see it. So, yeah, that's the foundation. And as usual, I got a little more than I needed, but... You get the idea, right? The concealer is on top and the foundation is on the bottom. And again, that color is deep, number 15. All right, this I thought was so cute and I hope it works well. This is such a little cute baby thing. This is Vaseline Lip Therapy Rose Lips. It's, it says for soft pink lips. Isn't that cute? Oh, it's a baby. It's so, so cute. Okay, so I'm gonna take my little baby top. Now this is gonna get lost in my purse. If things work out, this is gonna get lost in my purse. Um, so yeah, you, you know what regular Vaseline looks like. Okay, what finger am I gonna stick in there? So yeah, I am not gonna swatch this because it probably won't show up, but I'll just show you on my finger. It's just a light pink color. Hopefully you can see that, light pink color. So if this works out, I'm gonna be all over this because who doesn't like putting something as moisturizing as Vaseline on their lips, but with a little color. So this could really work out for them. They can make deeper colors and everything. So hopefully that's what they're thinking. And this is just the first one of many to come because they could really go to town with that. Uh, on that principle. Oh, the foundation comes with a little brush. Let me show you that. Number 35 brush. They really got a painting thing. You got a little spackle. You got a little, <laughs> you, you, you got this and it looks like a paintbrush. They really are you're going for it with that. These are the last two CoverGirl products I have to show you. And uh, these are the, oh, this one is the CoverGirl True Magic. And this is a skin perfector, meaning a mattifier. Um, that's what it said, I remember, on the package. So that's what it looks like. And um, I already swatched it once, but I can tell you, I'll swatch it again and tell you what happened last time. Well, we'll see what happens this time. So you get a bunch of it, and uh, I got it on my finger. And it does, it's creamy. And then when you, oh, I should have done it on the other hand. Then when you put it on your skin and rub it, it mattifies. What I'm going to be interested to see is if I use it with this puff it comes with, if I pat it, I'm used to patting. I don't like to rub over top of my makeup because then it shifts, right? So uh, we'll see how it works when I pat it. Uh, I, I, I notice it just kind of stays glossy, or not glossy, slightly satiny when I just put it on. So we'll see. Uh, again, this is why, you know, I'll try it for a couple weeks and see how it works. I'll be very interested to see, since it's under $10, I'll be very interested to see if it's as good as the Stila product that recently came out and I did in another chopping block that I loved, $30, or Mali, which is even more expensive, which is around $40. This is the CoverGirl True Magic Voluminizer. And uh, let me show you that up close. I, I swatched it before, so you'll see that in the middle. This just looks freaking gorgeous, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. All right, so this time I'm gonna use my finger and use my other hand. So let me show you what this does. I thought it was kind of neat when I did the uh, CoverGirl haul. So let's wait for the focus. There we go. And excuse my finger. So that gold color 
ends up being kind of pretty and we'll see if it's annoying when I try it out but hopefully you get the idea of what that looks like on the hand so again it was a little creamy when I put it on but as I rubbed it it felt dry so it dries down really quick is what I'm trying to say guys that's everything for the chopping block number 10 thanks for watching the haul I will get back to you in about two weeks there are a lot of products here. I want to test them thoroughly. So I'll get it back to you in about two weeks, hopefully, and uh, let you know what I thought of everything here. Thanks again for watching. I hope you're having a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.